Much of the talk in Washington right now is on how to deal with the millions of undocumented migrants, but there is one woman for whom that fight is pretty personal. Lizbeth Mateo is a Los Angeles lawyer who represents migrants wanting to stay in the United States. As CGTN's Phil, Phil Lavelle reports, she too could face deportation at any time. I have to have hope. Being undocumented, you have no choice but to have hope. And that's what makes Lisbeth Mateo different to other attorneys. She represents people in court, but... I'm an attorney, but I'm also undocumented. I'm an undocumented immigrant who doesn't have any kind of legal status or legal protection against deportation. Straddling both a legal system as protector, but at the same time, one of a group of people who are so often the focus of removal proceedings. I think some people think that, that you can't be an attorney and also be undocumented, but there's no requirement that one becomes a legal permanent resident or a citizen um, to be more skilled as an attorney. Um, I went through the same process as everyone else. Lisbeth was born in Mexico. She came to the U.S. as a child. We just sort of started talking about, well, what if the whole family moves there for a few years, not permanently? Um, at first, we talk about only staying here for two years. Two years have now become almost 20 years. In that time, she's lost family to the system. I had an uncle who was removed within four hours of being detained without being given a chance to see a judge, to call an attorney, to call his family. He simply was removed from his house in, uh, really early in the morning. And she's even faced the deportation process herself. I've been... Uh, in proceedings, I've had to go to court um, twice in my life. Uh, and both times, the government basically decided that they didn't want to pursue uh, immigration or, or deportation proceedings against me. Hey. Back in 2013, Lisbeth even left the country with others and crossed into Mexico voluntarily. It's called self-deportation. It was risky, but something she felt needed to be done. We presented ourselves at the border. Uh, and we were detained. We spent 17 days in detention before we were released and allowed to come home uh, to our families here in the U.S. We knew what we were doing, but at the same time, we knew we were going to come back, and we knew we were, we were going to actually achieve our purpose of returning to our families and then bringing back um, other people who had also been deported before. She can apply for a stay of removal. And now she spends her days in Los Angeles fighting for immigrants. She's been fighting for acceptance for years. I don't listen to people who say, you don't have the right to be here. I don't listen to people who say, how were you able to do this? Whose spot did you steal? Because I know in my heart that I had to work two or three times harder than most people to be able to, um, to make it, to be able to just survive in an environment where not very many, um, not that many undocumented people were, were, were a part of. She will probably never stop. Oh, okay, perfect, thank you. What I really want is for people who are in my community, who are also undocumented, to see their, um, themselves in my reflection, if possible, and to hopefully be inspired by my story. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, Los Angeles.